Hi, it's Maxine Kay, bringing you a love note from Orlando, Florida, where Reverend Mike has been in meetings all day long. I get to see him occasionally. We even have a meal together once in a while, but the rest of the time I'm studying and preparing for class and so forth coming up at the center. And I'm also relaxing and having a beautiful time. In fact, here's a secret won't be for long, will it? I just came from a wonderful massage. Oh my goodness, it was just the most delightful thing to do. My body is saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> you know, we do need balance in our lives, don't we? Work and play, activity and rest. It all makes life work so wonderfully. Huh. And in fact, Many of you know that I really prefer the word activity, in fact, even divine activity, over work or play. I'd like to combine it, combine both of those words into that beautiful umbrella of activity and truly divine activity. What I love to do is work and play. What I love to do is be active and relax. What I'd love to do is feel a beautiful balance, just as I know that there is a universal balance and harmony that underlies everything in this universe. And we're a part, a very integral part of that universe. And so when we recognize that the divine presence shining in through and as each one of us connects beautifully with everyone else that we may come in contact with, then we recognize that we are all in this beautiful life together, doing our best to live our lives in balance and in harmony. Ah, that means being very studious when you're in class. It means preparing well when you're teaching a class. It means relaxing nicely and enjoying beautiful food and a wonderful spa once in a while. Balance is what the universe is about. It's what the universe is teaching us if we will only become good stewards and students of those beautiful life lessons. So I'm quite relaxed and happy. I'm looking forward to what is next because that's one of the most wonderful things that I learned from Thomas Troward was to completely enjoy the present moment and what we are doing and always to have something that we're looking forward to next. What a sweet way to live. I recommend it. Well, Reverend Mike and I will be home tomorrow night. Uh, this is probably going to be one of two love notes you received today because the day got away from me yesterday. I didn't do a love note. So if we are in perfect balance with the universe, we just may find that Reverend Mike does one later today, maybe this evening. We'll be back. We're looking forward to Sunday with you. We're looking forward to resuming classes next week. We are looking forward to maintaining this marvelous connection that we have with you. Thank you for being a part of our beloved community. We cherish you no matter where we are. And we've had some lovely weather. I understand you've had nice weather this week too. I also understand we are going to be returning to Chili Philly and that's okay because we love our homecomings and we love you. See you later soon, bye.